Hey everyone, Weird Devs here. I want to teach you guys how to set up 2FA with Node.js, JavaScript, like most of my other videos. You might want to learn this because protecting account data is always important. Probably sometime in your web development career, you're going to be making an account system. And with making an account system, a username and password isn't enough. A password is static. We can solve this issue using something called two-factor authentication, in short, 2FA. But unlike your original password being static, we'll be using Google Authenticator to generate new codes every 30 seconds. It's very little effort to implement and you can easily insert this into your existing projects like the account system project videos I taught. Just to explain a little bit what this specifically is, Google Authenticator is a software-based authenticator that implements two-step verification services using time-based one-time password algorithm. This just means that it's generating tokens based on the current time and a secret password-like thing that you pass into it. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. To keep this easy to understand, I'm not going to implement this into a full project, so I'm not going to be continuing on top of my account tutorials. To start off, we're going to need to install a couple of packages. We'll be using the Speakeasy NPM package to generate and verify codes. We'll also be using the QR code to, well, generate QR codes to display. So go ahead and create your project folder. I'm going to create on my desktop just to make this quick, and I'll just name it Learning 2FA. Go ahead and open that in Visual Studio Code, and let's create our index.js file. Using the command prompt you can just navigate to your project and install the packages but since I'm using Visual Studio Code I can just press the control tick keys or you can go to terminal new terminal. So the command to install the packages would be npm install speakeasy and qr code. Now that the packages are installed we can go ahead and include that into our project so const speakeasy equals require same for QR code. Again, I'm not going to be using a full on project, I'm just trying to help give you a quick start to using these packages. Considering you're even watching this video, I'm guessing you've already seen the typical 2FA flows with implementing Google Authenticator. You log into your account, you go over to your settings page, click on enable 2FA, and then it's going to display a QR code. You'd scan that QR code using the Google Authenticator app on your iPhone or Android phone, and then you're going to see a new row appears with it just generating tokens. At that point, the website will ask for that six number token it generated just to confirm that you do have it appearing on the app. And once you click on confirm, your account is now enabled for 2FA. They can now go over to the login page, but after they enter their password, you're going to have request their 2FA code, verifying it in the way that I teach you later in this tutorial. The first thing to do would be to generate a secret using speakeasy. So we're going to say var secret equals speakeasy dot generate secret. We're going to pass in an object being your options, and I'm going to just give it a name, say we are devs. There's a few other options you can pick from here, but I'm just going to use name for now. If there's anything else you want to use, go ahead and look through the documentation. All that this option will do is when you look under Google Authenticator, you'll see that it'll just say we are devs to denote what that token is being generated for. This secret is what you'd be giving to Google Authenticator so it can actually start generating those time based tokens. But the secret it generates is going to be really long and I don't think you'd want to have your clients type it in. So let's just show you what that looks like. So it's not extremely long, but I'd be really annoyed if I had to enter this code into Google Authenticator every single time. That's where we'd be using the QR code package we installed and what most other websites do too. So let's remove this log and say QR code dot to data URL. We're going to want to pass this in here, secret dot OT path auth URL, and then a callback function. The callback function will have the error parameter and the data parameter. Error being, of course, an error, so typically in your app you'd be like, if error, then throw error. But this doesn't matter because this is just an example code I'm giving you. Well, let's just console.log data. Running the project, we'll see that this is logged to the console. We can copy all of this and put this inside of a HTML image tag. I'm going to create a quick little HTML file. open that in Chrome and then you see we get a QR code here so just a quick little explanation calling this function from the QR code package is going to create a data URL that data URL is an image that you can pass into an HTML image tag and it will look exactly like a QR code this 
Oh, that's what it is. And using this QR code, you can actually use the Google Authenticator app to scan, and then you'll see tokens start to appear, those six digit numbers. Actually, I should console.log the secret because we are gonna be needing to use that. So I'm gonna run that, copy the code, place the image source with the new data URL, go back to the page and refresh. And now you can use this QR code and scan it with your Google Authenticator app. But just to show you everything at once, I'm gonna be using an Android simulator to scan the barcode. I mean, I can't just click on scan a barcode and the camera opens up to get this because it wouldn't just know. I have to download the image, but on your end and your clients, they're gonna have a phone and well, scan the image from their screen. So just allow me to do that. And let me put that in front of my virtual camera. And if I click on scan a barcode, the code should appear in front of my screen, which it does. And then it just adds a new row with it generating your six digit token. Now let's try verifying our token. I'm gonna to just create a new file and name it verify.js. And we're gonna be using the speakeasy package again, so I'll just copy and paste that in. Now to verify, or in other words, check if the token that they send in is correct, we're going to say speakeasy.2tp.verify. It's going to accept an object which will contain the data that we will need to verify. First off, we want to give the secret, and the secret is what we generated from our index.js file, speakeasy that generates secret, and you know that it gave this object here. I'm going to grab the ASCII property, so I'll just copy that string, paste that in here, and because I decided to use ASCII, I'm going to say that the encoding is ASCII. But if you do decide to use base32 instead, then you can just copy in that string, paste it here, and then say the encoding is base32. Use this property right here because it's just a link. We'll also pass in another property and say token, and then set that to a string being the six digit token that it currently is. I just filled in with zero for now. But right now you see that it's 344217. So what I do is put in 344217. Let's wrap this inside of a variable, so var verified equals that and then console.log verified the token just changed so now i need to use that instead 102511 save and let's run node verify.js and you'll see it's true because that is the current token well let's wait for this to expire then retry now we have a new token, so the old token that we have, 102511, it's clearly not this. So if we were to send in this token again, it's gonna say verify it is false, so run that, false. But if we put in the new token, 217211, save and then run that, you see it's true because that is what the token is right now. So that's pretty much how you can use Google Authenticator to implement 2FA. Hopefully I gave you a basic understanding. If this helped you out, please leave a like. And if you want to find some more simple tutorials, maybe consider subscribing, because that is what this channel is about. Thanks for watching and have a good one.